The book of 1 Peter in, in chapter 1 talks a lot about trials and rejoicing. And it's in, within the framework of a firm foundation of living hope based on the resurrection of Christ, but also um, an inheritance that's imperishable, um, that we're waiting to have that revealed as the final part of, of salvation. And in the between time, as uh, on this firm foundation and it, looking forward to this inheritance that's imperishable uh, and unfading, um, that we don't quite have yet, um, there are trials. And Peter in his epistle says that grace and peace are multiplied to us in the midst of these trials. And that as grace and peace are multiplied, and as we endure and even have joy in the midst of these trials, that provides a genuineness of faith. And as we genuinely live out with joy this faith in the midst of trials, that then is a powerful witness. That people say, ah, what they say and how they live, it's one-to-one. -one. And that is the importance of, of genuine joy and faith in the midst of trials, is a bona fide, transparent witness to a disbelieving generation.